What's up everybody, it's your boy C. Sims and this is That Comic Show. Now, we are that close. Marvel, you're this close. Endgame is almost at its theatrical run. In fact, it is at its theatrical run. And it is number two. Guess who still has number one? Avatar. And it has just been reported, and I'm dropping this news right now, and I'm sure most of you already knows this, but I want to say it anyway. Marvel is going to drop again, re-release Endgame into the movie theater. So, I know uh, I have my Mjolnir and everything like that, and my Mjolnir is precious to me, but hey, you know, that's how we're going to do things. Uh, let me bring my uh, Stormbreak out. Now, the reason why I got my Stormbreak out right now is for one reason and one reason only. We're about to break this record. Marvel is about to break this record. I'm going to go out and I'm going to go ahead and support them. Yes, I've seen the movie twice, sure. But at the end of the day, this is what we live for. We live to break records. And yes, a lot of people are skeptical and saying that, hey, you know, Marvel's kind of messed up for doing what they're doing. I mean, this is a clear money grab. But in actuality, is this any different from any other movie studio that actually does the same type of stuff? I mean, think about it. Now, whenever a movie is about to happen, a big movie is about to happen, the movie theaters and the studio will re-release movies leading up to that movie to get people reacclimated to the story and get people ready. There's other movie studios that actually do uh, what's called extended cuts or director's cuts. And in one case that I remember, they actually put out another version or an extended version of the movie back in movie theaters to drum up more money so that it doesn't look like it was a total failure. And I'm not going to mention or name any names, but it's pretty clear of who this movie studio was. But we're getting this because of the fact that Marvel wants to do one thing, and that is to crush, break, destroy Avatar's record. And we are that close. We're like $2.78 million away from that. And if they're going to re-release it with new footage, it's not like they're re-releasing the same movie with the same footage. They're putting out new footage and a deleted scene and after credit scenes. And if that's the case, and if that's what Marvel is about to do, then hey, why not? I mean, we're going to get it in the DVD. We're going to get it in the in the, uh, the release. Okay, I'm fine with that too. But if they're going to do that in order for us, the Marvel community, the comic book community, to go ahead and break this record so that Marvel Endgame can stand on the top, I'm fine with it. I'm cool with it. That just means that another Marvel studio and another movie studio can go ahead and step their game up in a couple of years to dethrone Marvel. Now, there's a downside to this. What if this happens and Marvel still doesn't beat Avatar? That's going to hurt and crush a lot of people, especially my spirit. I'm going to hate that. But I need y'all to go out there and support what Marvel's about to do. We don't have a comic book movie that has that type of acclimate to be the greatest movie, box office movie of all time. We don't have that. So let's make history. Let's make it happen. Put aside your frustration, put aside your anger if you're voting for another studio or another comic book genre. Put that to the side. Let's all come together. Let's make history together. At least we can say we did something great in 2019. Let's make this happen. Once again, this is your boy Sam's. This is Stormbreaker. Lego style. Zam's out.